At this stage, I'd like to talk to you about symbols. Symbols is a very nice word. Actually, it indicates how to identify each document. Every official document at the United Nations is identified by a specific symbol found in the upper right-hand corner of every document. So this is a key element to identify any document. And I'm going to tell you now about a general rule which applies to all cases of documentation and it's not obvious. That's, I want, that's what I want to tell you about. Um, a document always bears the symbol of the receiving organ. For instance, the Security Council, the all-powerful Security Council, has to report to the General Assembly. So you might expect that the Council will produce a Council document to submit its report to the General Assembly. Not so. The report of the Security Council to the General Assembly is issued as a General Assembly document with an A symbol. And this rule is valid in all cases when the first committee submits a report to the General Assembly, it will be a symbol of the General Assembly. This is the trick. So, this is valid, as I said, in all cases. When the Secretary General reports to the General Assembly, he will use an A document. If he reports to the Security Council, it will be an S document. Incidentally, in some cases, we may even have dual symbols. If a document is intended for both the Security Council and the General Assembly, it will be an AS document. Similarly, if a document is meant for the General Assembly and the Economic and Social Council, it will be a document with the dual symbol A and E. So those are general rules that would apply in all cases. 